Welcome back to the tutorials. This is Sherry, your portfolio developer with the University College and I'm just following on from after you set up your account. And what should happen is that you'll log in and then a page like this will come up or it will look very similar to this. And you need to go up here in this corner where the options are My Sites or Reader and you'll click on My Sites. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you um, how I would like things to look. So, I've already developed a site, as you can see. And the way that we're hoping that students will set up their accounts, uh, their web pages, I should say, after you've set up your account, is something along these lines where you have a home page. So, I'll run some other tutorials on how you actually set this up, but this is pretty much the look of it. The home page, the main purpose of the home page is really to introduce um, what your website is all about. So we would like students to focus on, you know, it's a reflective portfolio and a platform for blogging as well. So your home page will introduce the content for the um, audience that you're expecting to have a look at this portfolio which for the degree will mostly be your teachers I imagine but you may use it for workplace or other purposes. Underneath your home page there will also be another page for blogging so I'll click there and I haven't written any blogs yet so you can't see what that would look like. There's an about page so we'll click on the about page down to the left of the screen. I've largely um, concentrated on career and education, just a snapshot of me basically with some, yes, some lovely photos there as you can see. But basically you're in a about pages just to introduce yourself a little bit. Um, another sub page can be created underneath that. Now we'd like students to do a personal profile so you can see here. And I haven't developed a personal profile yet but We'll be going through and showing students how to do that in the coming weeks. Also under the About page, you click on the little arrow going down. I've put in a Memorable Moments page. You can do whatever you'd like, make it a little bit more personalised. You can have um, all kinds of things on there. Try and make them as relevant as you can to career, education, um, you know, life achievements. This is a little bit of me showcasing, probably show boating a little bit. And we'll have a contacts page for everyone. Uh, this is fairly straightforward, just your name, email, location of the website. And an assessment page. This is quite important, so you click on assessments. What I have here for the moment is just you know, an outline of what the assessment task will be. So for your site, you'll have a very similar thing. This is what assessment task one for the practice and portfolio unit is. I'll keep the current colour scheme. Thank you for asking. So what we'll do here is, you know, encourage students to sort of write down what their assessments are, just have them here as something to reflect back on. Then underneath that we've got sub pages and these are for each assessment. So assessment task one is usually a portfolio piece. So here we click here and this is where you'll upload assessment task one for each of the discipline subjects. Then underneath that, uh, you have to click on the arrow going down, sorry. We have interim plans. They are typically assessment task two. Now, an example of this is that in ZAP 102, for the practice and portfolio, you'll be doing a student learning plan. And this is the case for those students who are doing professional communications or the business of leisure in the Associate Degree in Applied Business. But it's also the case for the students who are doing human resources in agribusiness, so the Associate Degree in Agribusiness. So once you've done your student learning plan, there's a way of uploading it here and then we should be able to click on the link and see your learning plan. Now there'll be another tutorial that shows you how to upload things. I'm just, this one's really just showing you the basic look of how we want your pages to, you know, generically be. 
with the tabs and pages and there's another section here final presentations or pictures so in here this is where we would expect students to put you know any video recordings or powerpoints or those kinds of things that have anything to do with the assessment task three so your capstone assessment would go in there this is really just to give you a bit of an idea of the types of things uh, we're looking for in terms of the layout but we really encourage you to be as creative as you can be and to certainly upload artifacts, videos, photos, planning tools, evidence of all kinds of different things and uh, I look forward to running you through some of the um, tutorials on how to actually get your page to look something along these lines but hopefully better. See you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Thank you very much.